Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a cool secret base that you can build in a city of Minecraft. So secret bases I think have always been really easy to build in the countryside, in the middle of nowhere, in gardens, in rivers. They've always been a little bit more difficult though in cities just because you have lots of blocks everywhere, you don't want to be disrupting builds. So with the new 1.13 update, I've come up with a really cool, really simple redstone free way to build a secret base in a city of Minecraft. You could build this in between buildings, you could build this in the center of town, you could even hide this secret base in your friend's basement and they won't even notice. So let's get started. So I have built this little really easy medieval town today for the base of my build, just a really simple quick build that I could do. But my secret base is actually right here in the center of town and it's hidden inside this little crate here. So spruce trapdoors or any type of trapdoor is the best way I think to build a really simple secret base. If you've watched my channel for a while now you would know that I really like to make these baskets and stuff like that. I love just plain oak trapdoors but now that we have the other ones they're really cool to make barrels and crates and you can make some really really cool secret bases in them. No redstone needed. So all you want to do is find the block that you want to use and just place your trapdoors around there. Once you have your entrance block just crouch in front of it, place your trapdoors on top and there you go. You have a cool little barrel or crate that you can also just dig straight down and build your base into. Really simple, really easy, and you can really just put this anywhere, build a bunch of crates and boxes around it, and people won't even know. Now you want to dig quite deep down, and this is because light will actually peer out the top through the trap doors, and also because if you want a really high ceiling, or because we are having a ceiling in here, you don't want to accidentally build into your friend's work or the city, so the dimensions are on screen now for the base of our secret base. This is what I've used, but you can do whatever you like. Maybe you just want to do the spruce trapdoor idea and that's fine. So we're going to start off by building to the from the center and then building out. So the first thing I've got here is my three block wide base. And this is the starting point of our base. I'm just going to dig one block down in the center and then build a little rectangle in front of it. That is three blocks long and two blocks wide. This is to create a water source. Now, the reason I do this is three reasons mostly. One is that if you want to do farming, you can use it for farming. Two, if you fall down your little hole entrance, at least you're falling into a bunch of water so you won't hurt yourself. And three, it also like acts as a like an infinite water source. So if you bring potions or anything like that and you don't want water elsewhere in the base, at least you have this good little center here. Once we build the little walkway around our center pool though, which is five blocks long and four blocks wide, we're going to go one block around the edge of it, even around the back. Now we will go two blocks wider at the front, which you would have seen that I did. And this is just because the front that we're looking into, like from where you're standing at your staircase, if you're looking ahead, those pathways I've made a little bit wider just because I like the look of it. You don't have to do that though, you could just keep it the same the whole way around so it's really even, but I think it's nice having it a little bit different, a little bit more unusual. Once you have your moats around your little center area though, which is one block the whole way around and then two right here, we're now going to build the pathways. Now the way you want to do this is to make it really simple, you could go one block the whole way around, including at the back. I like the idea of a pathway being behind especially if you wanted to create more rooms back there. You then want to go two blocks further again at this front section here that which the entrance of our base looks onto. And then the sides of our base, which we'll just remove this here so we can walk. The sides of our base that I'm walking here, we're going to make two blocks wide. We'll just remove this, remove down here. There we go. Oops. And now we're going to simply make this two blocks wide on the sides. So this is pretty much the walkways and everything for the center of our base done. Now like I said, I've got a little hole there so you can fall, so you can remove it if you want, but I like it there. 
we're just going to create some pathways now. So I'm building three hallways, one in the center here, which is three blocks wide because it's going to my biggest room. The sides here, I'm going two blocks wide because these are going to smaller rooms. Now you don't even have to build these hallways again. This is just how I'm building my rooms. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm also not going to show the dimensions of those rooms just because you can build whatever you like. You might want farming rooms. You might just want one giant room, which you have everything in. You might not want three rooms coming off. So I'm just showing the base of my base here so you can have a good start and then you can build whatever rooms that you like. I'm just making my room a little bit taller here. So we're going to have our walls four blocks high. Now you can make yours five blocks or six blocks so you can add more intricate details to your ceiling if that's something that you would really like to do, especially if you have the resources for it. But for me, I'm trying to keep mine a little bit simpler. Once you have your ceiling though, it will look a little bit like this. I have just lit everything up and I also built my room. So this one here, I have made 10 blocks long and 10 blocks wide. This is going to be a little feature area for me. This one over here, I'm building as a bedroom and this one is seven blocks long and 10 blocks wide. And the one right at the end there is my biggest room, which I did 15 blocks long and 15 blocks wide. Now, like I said, you don't have to have three rooms on the side. You could build a big hallway at the end and then build onto another big room, which has rooms coming off it. You can make this really intricate and change it as much as you like. It's up to you what you would like. Once we have our area all lit up though, so we don't have mobs spawning, we're gonna add some details to the roof. The first one I'm doing is a stone brick trim around the top. You could carry it like this the whole way through, but I don't really like that. So I'm just going for a trim around the inside of my rooms. I will also be doing this on the inside of the rooms that I built, so that way they're all matching. And then the next thing we're going to do is add some in here. Like I said, we want our rooms matching. So I'm going to go the whole way around this room and also my two side rooms as well. These I will probably be changing later on as I get into adding more things in this room, especially this room I'll probably change a lot because I plan on making this my function room. So we're gonna think about furnaces and brewing and enchanting and stuff like that. Once you finish it though, you'll have something like this and then we're going to focus on some details here. So I want my staircase entrance a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna delete my side blocks there and put some decorative stone brick. There's some full stone brick here. Oop, oh, oop, oh, keep doing the same thing. There we go, it just makes it look a little bit simpler. And I'm gonna remove the stone in the center here and also make these ones decorative and also plain stone brick. There we go. I'm going to keep the rest of the flooring throughout my base a little bit simpler just because I don't want stone brick everywhere. I think it's actually really nice having the stone base. So what I'm going to do to add a little bit more consistency and make it look like some ruins is I'm just going to do like patchy bits in the roof here where I make it stone brick and crack stone brick. I'm also going to add a trim along the bottom of my walls where I do decorative on the corners. And then the whole way around the base of my walls, I use the stone brick and the cracked stone brick block. Again, just like with the roof trim, I will be doing this on the inside of my rooms as well. I'm also doing the cracked stone brick just because it looks a little bit more ruined, makes it look a bit older, but you don't have to do that if you like. There we go, so I sped up and finished up my walls. I also just, again, like my roof, I did patchy bits. I did the same to my walls, so my walls have some patchy bits too. The next thing we're going to focus on though is some lighting. Now, I probably, probably you as well, don't like the look of torches all over the flooring. So we're going to put some torches inside the walls. Now you could add some lighting underneath the water in the center. You could have glowstone and lots of things, but I'm going to keep torches because I kind of like the ruins look I've got going on. All you want to do is on the center of your hallways, which I made three blocks wide for this reason, you want to do a staircase, normal, a staircase upside down. And then in the center, one block further back, you want to place a decorative stone brick block and then place a torch on top. 
I really like this kind of look, especially with the torch sitting on the decorative stone brick block. It looks like it was kind of made to hold it, and I think it just looks a lot better. I'm going to place this on all the insides of my hallways, and it also makes for a great way to not have to double up on blocks because of the way that my hallways are only three blocks wide. If I want to place lights on the inside of my rooms as well, that means I'm not having to place more blocks because I can use the same decorative block to place a torch on each three side. You'll see what I mean in a second. So if we look over here, if we remove, we can see there's that decorative block. So you can actually use the same block for all the sides. Again, you can see the decorative block. Just place these staircases and a torch there. Now I'm going to do this lighting on all of the inside of my rooms. You just want to place it wherever you have space and I think it's really nice to have it kind of evenly spaced out. You can make it really random and have it all over, especially if you have a really awkward shaped room or even if you want it looking really really old and really ruined. You could just have it all over the place but I think it's quite nice having it in kind of like a pattern. Just remove all these torches, we don't need them anymore. And you can see that the way that these torches are, it has a really nice effect in the walls and it also lights up the room quite brightly. There we go, so I sped up ahead and finished placing all my torches on the inside of my rooms and my side rooms. I've kept the one at the back there bare for now because I will be changing that a little bit. So you'll see in a second when I speed up ahead. I'm just placing water on my center bit here and also in my little floating pool. So if you didn't want stone around the edges, you could have farming and again, infinite brewing sauce and stuff like that. I'm making some bridges on the side. You could do stone like this, but I think it's a little bit chunky with the slabs. So what I'm going to use is actually the spruce trap door and kind of make like a drawbridge kind of look. I think it looks quite cool and it's a really nice natural and simple look. But there we go, so this is pretty much the base of my build done. I'm going to speed up. There we go. So this is how I decorated mine. Now all I have done to my inside room here is added some banners to kind of have a matching look. And also added some jungle leaf blocks to make it a little bit more ruined. You could also add some dirt on the ground and place even like little ferns. You could have vines hanging from the ceiling. You could have bits of rubble that you build to make it look like the roof is falling down. Now this room here is the room that I've done the most to. What I've done is on the left side of the room, I built some really simple walls, which I split up by doing my torch build. So again, just like I did on the inside of the walls, I just built a plain wall going the whole way out. I then made a T-shape like this. So you have this T-shape here. I just removed the end three blocks, place my stone brick, place my decorative block and my little torch on the inside. There we go, and that just made a really nice trim to the end of my build there. Now, if you did want to place item frames on your chest, you will need a two block wide gap there so you can place them, but I kind of like it how it is, and maybe you just want your stuff everywhere like I normally do. <laughs> I've got some picture frames, some plants to match the banners. I've got a carpet there as well that matches with the cyan color. I have my little enchanting room here, which I've got my little end chest there, so that way I can easily pull up stuff that I need that I've got stored elsewhere. This little corner, I kind of made my crafting corner, so I've got a cauldron, a brewing stand. I've got some lava there, so I can easily throw out stuff that I don't want. Just burn it, my little garbage disposal. I've also got furnaces, crafting tables, anvils. Again, I kind of separated my furnace area into its own little thing with the same decorative wall design. I've also got an infinite water source there if I did want a separate one. And I added a little chest of armor to kind of make it look like it is my little anvil furnace corner. And I also just split this area into two bits as well. So this is kind of my functional room. Now my room to the side here, I think this would be a really good room for farming if you wanted to farm a lot of crops and have farming all underneath as well. Especially if this is a secret base, you don't want all your farming up the front of your door and people are like, why are they farming here? So you could turn this into a really big farming room and even build this underground by several levels and have a big farming thing. I kind of made it like a showcase hall, so I've got some armor. I've got a little fishy tank at the end here, very cute, got some salmon in there and some little seagrass. 
I've also just got a block of dead coral. I've got some like dragon heads and stuff like that. And then this little room over here I kept as my bedroom. So this is a really easy survival room you can do. I've got a little pot plant, just a carpet, and then I built like a little hanging glass overhang for my bed there. Just with some glass blocks and it kind of looks like those see-through kind of like mosquito curtains which I think is quite cool. Just some shelving and lights and yeah, I tried to keep the bedroom really simple but also practical so that you can still sleep in it. But there you go you guys, there is how to build a really cool redstone free secret base in a city in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that you find it a little bit easier to build a base in a city now. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, where would you build your little city, city secret base? Would you just build it in your friend's house? And they wouldn't even know. But like always guys, thank you so so much for watching. Thank you.